Right. Okay, we're live. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Chef Nobusa. Hello, Zaleha. Hi. Sorry, we had a bit of a for the camera. <laughs> okay, know, great. Uh, nice to so, see you, uh, Chef. Great to see you. Right. So, what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to do a quick introduction. Of course, I'm going to tell uh -huh. a bit about Zaleha. And then after that, I'm going to uh, pass over to Zaleha to start cooking because uh, today she's going to be uh, teaching us how to cook this exciting dish called Laksam. Okay, so I think I can see um I can see all the comments now coming up from all the viewers. I don't have to tell them. So now they're telling us that where they're watching from. So that's great. Anyway, oh, so great. um yeah. yeah, so just um to tell everyone about uh, this campaign, Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. So it's um initiated by Jackie, who's based in Sydney, and then she approached me and all the chefs, including Zaleha as well, to come to join this campaign. And then it's such a beautiful like uh, gesture, and then it just which is good like to promote mission comes into the world so mm. this is our first batch of uh, live cooking demos and then Zaleha is doing the final one for this batch okay no pressure Zaleha okay so oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and, then, and then of course I mean after uh, we finish with this demo and we're gonna have a quick like team meeting and then we just want to do like brainstorming and everything so for all the comments that you have uh put together for us um yeah so we're going to take that on board especially with the technical stuff and all that okay so um mm -hmm. again uh in partnership with tourism malaysia so we're very very um excited about this because uh tourism malaysia has been kindly enough to join this venture this um this movement i mean to promote malaysian cuisine and our mission is to entice you to get you to cook malaysian dishes at home and then when you're ready you can always visit malaysia yeah so and then experience the best of the malaysian cuisine culture and everything um all the places like especially where zaleha is coming from from kuantan as well yeah, Zaleha? yeah. okay so um, mm, yeah yeah, so a couple of things like first thing if you haven't signed up to our youtube okay so you need to subscribe um just click the button subscribe and you can see the bell there so you can click the bell as well because that will give you a notification okay so uh, you can do that and then second thing is if you haven't signed up to uh, join our mailing list you can join um by going to www.malaysianchef.com slash join today okay so with that you can have access to download the welcome pack the ebook recipe pack and now I'm busy designing this, uh, the next batch of uh, recipes. That's going to be exciting mm -hmm. because uh, we're going to have all the recipes from eight chefs, including Zalihaz as well, for today's uh, demo. So I'm going to put nicely together and then you can download that as well. Okay. Uh, right. So, oh. um, Zaliha, let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> right. I think uh, you are so famous. Okay. Right. Back in 2018. I'm a okay, so get... oh. <laughs> Well, in a good way. In a good way. Let's think of positive. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, uh, 2018, obviously, we're, we're, I mean, we're not going to go through into detail, but I think um, uh, what happened to you is kind of a blessing, I think, because like... Uh, like I told you, well, we talked about this before, good or bad publicity is still a publicity. And I'm, I'm very Correct. proud that how yeah. far you have um, you know, gone since then. You've done, your, uh, you've done your cookbook and won the award as well, which is great. Mm. And then you've launched mm. your, uh, your spice paste, the rendang paste as well. And then it's yeah. always sold yeah. out. I need to get a jar from you and next time I visit uh, UK. Yeah? So you <gasps> oh, have to reserve yes. your one. So um so that those are one of the things like so I'm sure like you have like a lots going on um uh you're planning a future for um mm. to move your um uh, yourself I mean your career upwards and onwards okay so um and of course yeah. like uh, talking about um what happened to you and me because I was based in the UK before we have to thank mm. this special lady, uh, lady that was based in in um in London okay called Zahara Osman. She's watching right now. Yes. And she said hello to everyone. Okay, so uh, hi, hi, Zahra. Like, <laughs> Salam, Kazahara. So uh, yeah, I owed a lot to her as well because she wrote about me because um, Kazahara is um, she she's apart from teaching um all these um uh, expats uh, Bahasa Malaysia. Okay, so she also mm, uh, writes mm. for New Straits Times. Yeah, so I think she yeah she uh, Kazahara's got the column. Uh, we call her Kat yeah. anyway. So. Yeah, so um, uh, Kazara has always uh, have a column and always tell about her journey and everything. And then she wrote about me, and also she's the one who initiated this uh, the rendang gate, okay, the crispy rendang case with Zaleha as well. Yes. Yeah. So thank you very much, yes. Kazara, for your support. Yeah. 
So uh, we owe you a lot after this. So we can belanja you makan rendang after this. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, yeah. Um, Zahra. Uh, sorry. Um, Zaleha. Um, so what's your yeah. plan after this then? I mean, do you want to tell us? Um, or is it supposed to be a secret? Uh, no. To start with? No, it's not. It's not. I'm writing my second book, although I haven't pitched right. it yet to the publisher. But I'm, I have started mm-hmm. basically writing and compiling recipes, but I'm not sure where it's going to lead to. Is it going to be another traditional Malaysian cookbook or is it going to be another different book? I'm not sure about that yet. Um, at the same time, I'm going to try expand my uh, spice space because um, yeah. I can't cook cooking it from home anymore because I've got lots of orders. So yeah. I have been pitching lots of uh, food producers in UK, but yeah. to be honest with you, because I try to maintain the way we cook our rendang, not express way uh, they are quite um they're not keen to go for it because it says they don't have the time or the manpower to uh cook the way i want it to be cooked yeah okay. so well, well. i might yeah i might do it in a different way now i might uh get a small factory at the back garden yeah. or something like that so yeah the well, best way for me i think yeah. Yeah. Let's let's hope one day that we're gonna see your rendang paste on the shelf at the supermarket. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. Right. Great. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about um. Well, quickly we're gonna talk about your the dish that you're cooking today. Yeah. So a dish yeah. uh, close to my heart. So that's a theme that we have. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Laksam. Laksam is something uh, that I love to eat, obviously. When I go back home to Malaysia, the first few things that I'm going I will eat is like mi goreng mama. Roti canai, of course. My husband will be like Murtaba, Kanduri from those mama stall. And laksam will be the breakfast for the next day. Because in my village, in Kampong, obviously, when I go home, you've got lots of uh, road stalls, yeah, roadside stalls that sell laksa, yeah. nasi lemak and everything. And I have this lady, this makci. We call it makci, makci Zahara. We call it oh, in okay. our language. No, it's, we call it's, 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 no, 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 no. It's not got our got Zahra, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. In my in our in my language, if you want to hear yeah. me saying uh, accent Paha, we call her Makcik Jaro. Okay. Makcik Makcik Jaro. Makcik Jaro. Okay. Yeah, Makcik Jaro. So yeah. Makcik the Makcik uh, always um, she's still going. Her grandchildren are now telling, but she she's a matriarch. So. She will go once in a while and look at the stall and she's still running it from her home. Although we right. have moved away from our the house where I grew up in the kampong, yep. I still visit because my sister-in-law lives there. Yep. I still visit. I still go and see her. She's about, I think she's 89, probably wow. 89, 90. Amazing. She's, yeah, she's amazing. I would like to grow or like her. She still goes <laughs> well, to the I market. I think we have to keep... I think... We have to keep eating laksa, yeah. So to <laughs> all the sayur kampung. Like... She said yeah. to me, all the all the sayur kampung, all the ulam ulam, will keep you awet muda. That's what she said. So yeah, that that dish is special for me because every day when we were little, she will have it like five o'clock in the morning. She will start making it. My mom used to go and help her peel the fish off the bones, pick the fish off the bones. Tunggu, right, okay. uh, pound it in yeah. their traditional motor. That's what my mom's job. We, the girls, okay. used to go and count the laksa for her. But she had it in a huge basket. So, so the, the children will help count. Yeah. That's something that we, you're going to show so us. So what, yeah, when you're ready to cook, okay, let's kick off. And then because yeah, uh, yeah. we try to um, keep... Uh, Everything between four to five minutes or to fifteen minutes or so. Okay. Yeah. So when you're ready, because uh, your cool. daughter's gonna help uh, with the camera as well to to make sure that yes. everyone can see what's in the in the pot or saucepan. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I'm going to start first by introducing you to all the spice. Kakak, do you wanna come help Mama pegang? Do you help Mama pegang this? Oh. We're gonna show you the ingredients. So here I have the fish that I have poached here. The fish that I poached. So traditionally, okay. the Malaysians, traditionally we will actually uh, tumbuk like that. Mm-hmm. And make it, into, make it into a nice space and you set it aside. And these are the spice space that, that goes into the fish when you pound it. You got right. oh, this one, no. You got shallots. Mm-hmm. This one is going to go into the sauce. You got shallots, you got ginger sikit. You got a little mm-hmm. bit of garlic. You got black pepper. Garlic. So the base, the base of the heat uh, for the... Laksam, laksam sauce mm-hmm. is lada hitam is, okay. is this one and you put 
sugar, you put sugar and you put salt. We don't use MSG. Okay, as you know, good, we... Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're not we keeping MSG, but... We better check with Machi Zahara after this, whether she use MSG. Okay. <laughs> uh, we don't use MSG, but you have the poaching juice, poaching stock. This is the best. I okay. used to poach... Yeah, I used to poach the stock and the bones and everything and then uh, put it in a small um, freezer tub and put it in the freezer. So whenever I put curry, I put some pedas or anything, that goes into my stock instead of uh, Ajinomoto or MSG. So the fish oh, that I have poached good. today, I have shown you this one, that mm -hmm. the traditional yeah. way, but this one is the one that I have blended. So okay. this is the one we're going to cook shortly. This one has everything we got. The fish, and we've got all the spice here. It goes into a blender, and we are going to cook them uh, in a bit because it needs like twenty minutes of simmering to keep to keep the fish simmer for the sauce simmer for about twenty minutes. So we're going to start this first, set it aside, and then we're yeah. going to uh, start with the roll noodles. That is the best okay. bit because I love making the roll, the laksa noodles. Good. Yeah, I, I want to Shall see how it's done as well. Yeah, go go for it. Yeah. Cool. So, so we're going to start now. Um, can you pass me the pot? Right. So we got my pot here. I need the. I need the video. Um, for anyone's watching, if you have any questions, okay, so do type up your questions because I'm gonna uh, read out to Zahara. Uh, so I can call him Zahara anyway. I don't know why. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know you miss her. <laughs> how long have you? I know I miss you, Zahara, because I. I haven't, I haven't met her like, oh, wow, I think about two years since I moved here. I think, yeah, because I remember Zara was the first one who actually I gave a copy of my amazing, amazing Malaysian cookbook because, yeah, I, I, I owed her a lot anyway before supporting me. So yeah. she got a first copy yeah. of my amazing Malaysian cookbook, yeah. Anyway, me so. too. Kazara got my first edition, first print copy of the book yeah. as well. See how special she, she is in our life, yeah. She is, okay, she so. is it. So yeah. the fish just now is going to go into the pot now. Yeah, okay. like that. So trust me, this is just fish and mm -hmm. water. So now okay. I am going to add in coconut milk. Right. It's, um, if you like coconut cream, you can use coconut cream. If you prefer to get, uh, what do you call it? If you like to be slightly, slightly more heaty, uh, spicy, you can put in more uh, black pepper, but today Sophia yeah. already mentioned to me, Mani, can you please not make it too spicy? Uh, <laughs> so the fish stock is going in. I'm going to right. see if it's enough, if it's too much, because you want the sauce to be thick, but at the same time, you want it to be uh, delicious. When you eat it, you get some of those uh, fish, what do you call it? Uh, the minced fish. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to add in uh, a little bit of tamarind. The okay. tamarind actually, tamarind, yeah. I, when I poach, when I poach the fish, uh, <laughs> when I poach the fish earlier, I put yeah. in fish, tamarind skin, and yeah. salt. So I poach them nicely. So this is the tamarind right. skin. Okay. This is tamarind skin. It's some sometimes you can't get it in UK or wherever you're living, so you can opt and use. Tamarind paste then. Did you, by the way, but, uh, did you smuggle that bag? The Asam uh, Glogo? Yes. Uh, tamarind paste. yes of course. <laughs> That's very Malaysian <laughs> thing, isn't it, to do? Yes. Yeah. That is very Malaysian thing. You cannot yeah. get it here. No. Even you get it, you get Asam thing, isn't it? Not Asam Glogo. Yeah, exactly. That's see, like only a treasure those who apart know, from Kantan. Hmm. Yeah, those, those, who, those who know who say, what? Asam Glogo and Asam thing is different. Say, yeah, it's different. It's definitely different. <laughs> <laughs> just so, uh, quickly, uh, someone just asked you, uh, what kind of yeah. fish did you use then for the uh, for the fish um, salt? I use Spanish mackerel. Oh, where's the fish? Can you mackerel, show me the fish? Yeah. I'm going to show them. Yeah. That. yeah, I use Spanish mackerel. Uh, you sometimes get them here in the market, but now yeah. I know where I can get my full supply of Spanish mackerel. It's from Costco. Bro? I got them from Costco. Oh, from Costco. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do nice quality yes. seafood. Actually, they do. Yeah, excellent seafood. Yeah, they yeah. What do you call it? Yeah. The what do you call it? The seafood. The, the oh, amazing. The fish manga. So I got funny enough. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when I had a restaurant in Manchester, my prawns came uh -huh. from Costco because it's big and juicy. 
uh, believe it or not. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Costco's got well, good quality products. I got products, from Costco as well. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing products. So, and it's mm. big in big bulk as well. So yesterday I bought this. So in a pack, it's about seven, seven or mm. eight of them in a pack. It's about uh, 12 pounds. So it's not bad right. at all. Yeah, it's, it's affordable, yeah. Yeah, compared to buying from the proper thing also. Now I'm going to leave this into yeah. the middle section here, into my middle store. Yeah. Come on, please work. All right. <laughs> I'm going to move it here. Yeah. So we so let it to let it boil and to let it okay. once it boil, I will put the heat down to simmer for about 20 minutes. By then we are okay. good to make some of the what do you call it? The I'm gonna move that away. We okay. can make the what is it? Noodle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you're not serving to all the people up watching, okay? So take your time, don't worry, because... <laughs> looper, makcik looper, okay. <laughs> because they can only watch us, like, uh, watch you cooking, but uh, they're not going to uh, be able to taste. I'm sure everyone wants to taste it. So, uh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So now we, we will make... Where is my ingredient? Adik, can you bring my ingredients? I have got two assistants here who bring me you things do. around. <laughs> Yes, they are very Good. keen cooks, so I'm quite blessed, to be honest. Yeah, because I saw on your Instagram, like, they've been baking and they've been uh, doing lots of dishes as well. Well done, yeah. So yeah. you must have inspired they, them. They are, actually. I think, I'm not sure, I think they have been doing this since a very young age. To be honest with you, I think the main reason is because we live abroad. So living abroad, yeah. the only place that I have nanny is when we were living in the Middle East. The rest... The rest of the places we live, we have to like do everything ourselves. So my girls tend to come into the kitchen often to help yeah. me do this and that, and basically see me doing. Yes, that that's yeah. thing. Right, this is now quite boiled. Okay, we are going to start making the noodles. The noodles, I think put, yes. Yes, Kaka, you want to come and help me here? The noodles. Come on. Come on, let's see, let's see her then. She's got a camera shot here. <laughs> No, come on. I need you to bring come the camera closer. Let's help your mama. No. It's like Burley has got his come matcha, on. her matcha, but, and then you've got your daughter here. <laughs> Burley with her right. matcha. <laughs> right. Can you hold the camera closer so they can see what's going in here? Okay. Yes. No, no. Just bring the, just bring the tripod together here. Okay. Okay. Right. So good, I've got everyone here. Can see you. Yeah. Yes. So well, you guys can see what I'm going to put in here. Right. Good. Yeah. Right. So I've got here, I've got here rice flour. It's going to go in there. Okay, rice flour. Uh, our laksa is uh, tepung beras base, not uh, tepung bandung. Okay. But we have a little bit of tepung bandung to, to keep the, what do you call it? The starch, like the, a starch or something. It? Yeah. So it's yeah. like a gluten to make it like, yeah. Make sure it okay. doesn't break. Yeah. It's when you roll it. Okay. And then I've got here garam. Yeah, so I've got minyak oil here, which I'm going to add later after we add the water. Okay. You add the water in and just keep... Sorry, are you, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry how you're breaking a up nice a bit? Okay. Batter. Don't worry if it's too thin. Laksa. If it's too thick, you don't want it to be a hard... Hmm. Um, what do you call it? A laksa, that's a doubt. It won't be as nice. Okay. Um, Zaleha, can I suggest you to, okay, um, you've got to get this your camera stick, so back? I've got in my recipe about two, 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 two. Yeah. Zaleha, can I, can I get you to uh, yeah. get your daughter you to it? move back yeah. to, the, to that position? To Yeah, yeah, because uh, it's breaking up, so uh, people can't, because you keep breaking up. To the original. So it's okay. Yeah, to the original. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Ah. So what you can do is you can, you can bring the bowl okay, to the camera. Okay, cool, right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay, that's better. All right, okay. So I'm just going to mix in the spice now. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more water mm -hmm. because the recipe calls for two to two and a half cups okay, of water, but you want it slightly runny. And yeah. can you hear me? Yep, yeah, yeah, that's good. This is much okay. better, yep. This and is good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the last thing that goes in is the oil, the vegetable oil. Vegetable okay. oil so it doesn't stick. Hopefully it doesn't stick. Right. Cross. Fingers crossed today. Hopefully it works. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So, so for anyone that are watching, I mean, don't worry, don't, don't worry because you, you're going to get the recipe for this as long as you sign up to our uh, mailing list. Okay. So you get to download all yes. the recipes that, uh, that we cook. Yeah. Do sign up to the mailing list so you can enjoy cooking all these recipes from your own kitchen. Right. Now this is done. I've got my steamer here boiling away just now. Oh, you have to steam. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, you don't cook. I try to make your, what do you call it? The popia skin from your cookbook? Yeah. Yeah. How did it go? Alamak. Cannot. <laughs> well, actually, I have a YouTube video how to make it, actually, because you have to be quite elastic. And then, uh, well, I mean, yeah, there's lots of training needed done. So, but uh, but the 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 ingredients uh, recipe is very simple. Maybe next time I will do that one actually. Yeah. So yes, for the please. live demo. We need we need a proper class. <laughs> yeah. We need a proper class yeah. for that. Alama is all stuck everywhere. My tangan all burned. Really? <laughs> it's not gonna happen again in my kitchen. So I bought the <laughs> the non authentic popia skin. All right. Yes, but but your recipe looks so good. It's just that it wouldn't work with me. I don't know. It's no. just like, okay, it depends on the pan and then the heat. Okay, go for it. Yep, go. Perfect. So, I've got here my pan. I'm going to put it in okay. there. Yeah. The water is already boiling, yes, uh, just now. Mm. And I've got my spoon here. So, you are going to spoon basically mm. about that much. Just to cover the pan, but you don't want it too thick. Right. Right, that's it. We're going to do a few later, so this one's going to go in there. I see. Wow, okay. Okay, you're going to steam that. I'm going to put this aside while we wait for the for this to steam for five minutes. I'm going to show you the rest of the condiments that we need for, okay. for assembling the laksa. It's going to block yep. the view, the steamer, but I'm going to show you okay. this is what yep. we need. Okay. We need um, cucumber. You, yep. you shred it or you chop it is fine. You need mm -hmm. cabbage. Okay, you need cabbage. cabbage. You, need, yep. you need bean sprout, tauge. Yep. You need kacang panjang actually, but I can't get kacang panjang here in uh, Bristol. So I use alamak jangan makan baju. And <laughs> don't we don't want any mishap, okay? Tabaka, baju, my treatment, no, no, the last demo, okay? So, okay. Yeah. Much. That's there'll be, there'll be, there'll be another, another like a controversy or something that random ladies go in the kitchen. <laughs> anyway, because I was watching, okay? So, <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, so we have. I have kacang buncis, but uh, yeah. original recipe back home in uh, Malaysia, it will be uh, the long bean. I don't know if it's kacang panjang, isn't it? Yeah. Snake the long beans, beans yeah. are the snake so, beans, yeah. Okay. That's right. And you need daun kasung. Okay. The laksa leaf. This yeah. Is, yeah, laksa leaf. This is from my garden. We just picked them up wow. just now. Wow. Yes. Do you grow? You can be like pearly now. now. Yeah. Yes. I have almost like everything, but... Not everything, not like poorly, alamak poorly, yeah, everything like poorly. <laughs> <laughs> So, and that, this is bunga kantan, torch ginger. Yeah, the torch ginger. That is like a treasure right. for all the Malaysians here, okay? Precious, precious, <laughs> precious. So, uh, I yeah. think in Franganu and Kelantan, they put this in their sauce, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they will put this in their sauce, but we don't. One, because uh, I prefer it to be on top as a nice uh, drizzle on top. And secondly, yep. my two daughters doesn't like uh, bunga kantan in the laksa. She loves it yep. in, they love it in asam laksa, but they didn't okay. like it in laksa. I, I you know, they're weird children right. anyway, so. You're such a good mom anyway, because you, you like <laughs> cater for them, for their like... <laughs> I have to okay. accommodate. If not, I'm going to have to cook two or three dishes a day, which is not going to happen anyway. <laughs> so that's good, so, right? So we're going to actually chop these ingredients, uh, slice or chop or anything, uh, and put it in here. Uh, later, once the sauce is coming, the sauce is coming up. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Once the sauce is done, mm. we can... Uh, assemble. How long are we? We have 25 minutes. Oh no, okay. we, we've got plenty of time, don't worry. Yeah. Right, come and have a look. Kakak, come and bring this for mommy. 
Where's the kakak? The last... Bring kakak in. We, we want to see kakak. Okay. <laughs> She's I'll show you my girls already, in. so. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. My daughter said no. Uh, say no. Right. No, they said. So this you is the last time. You have a famous mom and then you said no. <laughs> so this is the last time. Mine is, this one is slightly thick. If you can see, can? Yes. So you, you don't want to stick much of me, so I'm going to take it out and move it. Can you play it, Mama? Yeah. So basically, you, it's like a pancake, but instead of like a frying on a pan, you steam it, right? Yes, that, yes, you how, steam it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you steam it, take it out, yeah. like that. It's a bit hot. Oh, nice. Yeah. So this is thick. I don't like yeah. it thick, so I'm going to with the oil. Right. The oil is now in the bowl. So we're going to roll another one, and I'll show you how to make it. But this one, since it's already here, yeah, we are going to put a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. We are going to put a little bit of oil in the bowl, and we are going to basically brush it. Okay. So when you fold it, it's really nice and. Kilat kilat cantik cantik kemas kemas kan? You can turn this around. This is cooked as well nicely. So you just roll it. See this one is pecah because it's too thick. Right, so let's see. I'm going let's to leave it. it like that. I'm going to show you and make another one, another sure. thin okay. one basically. Yeah, we have a, we have enough time anyway. Maybe one. Yeah, we have another five minutes, isn't it? This is just five yeah, minutes to do this. Yeah. Right. Right, I'm going to put it in like that. Okay. Make a thin one. I think this, this is the way for you to make it, to be honest. Ages since I made like some. So, so does that. it need to be on a on the nonstick pan or something? It's just or, or it's okay just on the like a. Uh... It has to be. It has to be on a nonstick pan. So when it okay. comes out, it it's nice. It's nice yeah, and so it's uh, like yeah. 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 So now I'm going to chop. The ingredients. What we need, I think you can see from there, isn't it? Yeah, the, I mean, it's the steamer is kind of blocking a bit anyway. Is there any chance that you is can uh, swap? Bring it over? No, don't, don't worry. Yeah, try, okay, try to I'm bring it over. To... Yeah. Okay, I'll swap. I'll swap the yeah, laptop. Just swap the, the steamer. That's it, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. So that's good. We can see it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I swap it around now. See. Right, I'm going to just chop this, um, the, the, what do you call it? The, the fine French beans, beans, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, the French beans, just kacang bunchis. Alamak, you see it breaks because it's too dry. Yeah. So I'm going to show you another one shortly. So that's the bunchis that's going to go in there. Mm -hmm. As for the... This one, you don't need to chop it. If you like, you just pull it out like that. Just take the leaf, yeah? Okay. Yeah, just take the leaf. You don't want the stalk. It's not like asam laksa. You can throw it all into the saucepan. Mm -hmm. So, you can leave it as it is. You can chop it. It's up to you. I like the, the flavor of that uh, leaf itself. I've got here chili padi. It's up to you okay. if you want to use it. Yeah, my yeah, daughter just yeah. said no. Okay. <laughs> Not for um, her, but for so, everyone's all watching, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we like it spicy, but the the yeah. traditionally we will serve it like that. You soak the um soak the dry chilies and blachan yeah. baka. Blachan, oh my god, we're not gonna have blachan gate today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so once you soak this, you pound it into yeah. a space like that. My daughter that boy just now, like that. <laughs> Can you see it? Okay, so this is right, okay. The, um, so this is the sambal belacan that we're going to serve with the laksa later. Okay. 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 I'm going to finish off chopping this. So as for the cucumber, it's really entirely up to you. I'm going to throw with the middle bit. What do you call that middle bit? I don't know. You can chop it. You can the, do... Uh, yep. What do you call it? Yeah, the middle bit. Is it okay? No. <laughs> Just a middle bit of cucumber. <laughs> yeah, the soft, the soft bit of the cucumber. We don't the want it because nanti, so we don't want it. Yeah. We don't want it. It's watery later on. So you just chop it roughly. It's up to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can also shred it if you prefer. Yeah. Shred it into a nice thin. Uh, I think the strips. thing about 
<clears throat> the thing about our, our noodles or laksa, laksa, whatever. I mean, like it's all about the garnishing, isn't it? Because that kind of a exactly. plays such important roles, right? Yeah. It is. Yes. Right, so I'm going to rasa this sauce shortly after I finish with the yeah. cabbage. Uh, it's just last bit now. Yeah. The cabbage okay, is just going to, in. Just to remind everyone that this is not laksa, this is laksam. Okay, so... Yes, uh, laksa uh, with an M. <laughs> laksa with an M, yeah? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you say it's so, a family, a laksa family? It is. Well, it's, it is a bit, isn't it? So, but it's just the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, perhaps you know the story why it's called laksam instead of laksa. Okay, so. To be honest, to be honest, I don't know. Anyone knows yeah. can tell me. I think you know. Uh, you know who would know this. I think what? I know who, our our Her Royal Highness uh, Queen. Of Malaysia. Ah, do you know what? I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to have to check the cookbook. You might have some explanation on how it be derived yes, into exactly. name, you know? Yeah. So this is done. I have this lemon just, just now. If you like it slightly uh, sour, you can put it in, but I don't like it. But I'm just going yeah. to put it on anyway into my So you, so you just cut into on, so. wedges then, yeah? Ah, you can cut into wedges and you just squeeze it just before you makan. Mm -hmm. This is done. I'm going to okay. rasa my laksa now. Yum, Oops. yum. Sedap punya. Oh my god, sedap punya. <laughs> is it spicy? Nah, no, it's not as heaty as it should be. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but my children actually, especially Sophia, doesn't like too spicy. So, that's mm. sekali lagi ya, rasa. <laughs> oh, sedap punya. Good, good. It's so good. Mm. So, this, oh my god, aku ni masuk ni. Alamak, you see bonces masuk dalam kuah air. <laughs> no one sees that, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> okay, now this laksam is done. I'm going to try take it out and see if it works this time. Kalau tak jadi, habis lah air. Okay. That's how. Right, I'm going to look at um, the screen of my laptop now. So I'm going to gather all the questions that are going to be asking um, Zaliha after this. Okay, Zaliha, you carry on with your uh, cooking. Yeah, so I'm just going to okay, okay. uh, gather Clap. all the questions for you now. Yay, dah jadi this one. Okay. Can you give me another plate tak untuk mama? Oh no, plate, proper plate. Yang yang bawah tu. Right, so the laptop is done. Right. So that's the luck star, guys. It's nice this okay. time because I make it thinner. Good. Yeah. So yeah. I make it thinner and you can roll it. <laughs> so try to make it slightly thin if you think your that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So if you think your batter is Thick, then add a little bit more water. If it's too thin, then just add a little bit more tepung gandum, not tepung beras, because tepung beras will make it um, uh, not too, what do you call it? Not elastic. Not starchy, so, not starchy. Not like star a, not yeah, like a, right. yeah. So, yeah, so, so if it's too, too thick, so add more um, thin flour, yeah? So to make yeah, it yeah. more starchy. It's, yeah, okay. Correct, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to do just one last one and leave it out there. If we have time, we'll we will roll it. But we have one here, and basically that's how you make laksa. Um, okay. You've got your chili here. I can assemble it shortly to show yep. you guys how it looks like when it's um when it's done. Can you get mommy the small black bowl, please? Anna Ida makan the crack laksa. She already started eating. <laughs> Even the the sous chef already tried the laksa. Cool. Yeah, my daughter already had that the other one just now. Yeah. So this is what the texture of your sauce looks like. I don't know if I can. Wow, okay. So it has to be quite thick, yeah? Ah, it has yeah, to be thick. To be so thick, so thick, when yeah. when you eat the laksa, uh, you get the the fish coating onto the laksa yeah. nicely. Right. So this is how we going to assemble it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the scissors. 
cut them. If you have a bigger steamer, use a bigger pan so you can. Mm -hmm. So so that's the laksa there. Right. Okay. So, so someone just nice. said that it, it. Yeah, someone just said that it looks like a katayap or the kuih dada or something like that, isn't it? Correct. So uh, very yes, okay. similar. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it, it is very very similar. I'm going to wait for another laksa to come out before I assemble. I think just. Just sure. to okay. make sure we have a bit okay. of a bulk. Yeah. So do you have any yeah. questions you're going to ask me? Yeah, I think yeah, you've answered the first question, uh, which is like uh, what kind of fish to use uh, because uh, you recommended a Spanish mackerel, right? Because uh, for me, yeah. like uh, for laksam or laksa, it's like anything with the oil, uh, fish which contains lots of oil, like um, uh, mackerel is the best, right, um, Sadia? Yeah, Spanish mackerel is the best because you think of my stock mm. just now, you've got a layer of oil on top and there's nothing in that except the fish the salt and the asam, can? Yes. So uh, another question is like, uh, someone asked what's the difference between laksa and laksam. Okay, so uh, okay. And then I think, yeah, go on. Then. If, if paham, the laksa is laksa gando, which is more tepung, which is more uh, wheat flour and a little mm. bit of, maybe sometimes they didn't put, they don't put any um, rice flour, but purely wheat flour. And they use it like they, how do you, they make it like making noodles. Exactly yeah. like noodles. It's long, straight noodles. That is laksa. On paham say laksa. Not laksa. Laksa. <laughs> laksa. Laksa paham. So, yeah. and laksa is the raw one. But I think the Johor laksa is made from spaghetti, correct? Yeah. I know that's completely yeah. different. So, I wish like uh, one of the chefs can be cooking that. Yeah. So, you have to even eat with your fingers as well. I don't know how it works. Exactly. I've tried that before. Exactly. Yeah. And okay, laksa so, pina, uh, I think you will know better isn't it chef norman yeah well again i mean like a uh, laksa kada is different slightly different from laksa pinang as well so okay the next mm. question is is uh the gravy still fish gravy with coconut milk white color uh I, yeah i'm not too sure whether that's a question so did, did you add coconut sorry yeah i missed that yeah we, add... we did add coconut milk just now yes, yes but did, yeah. laksa Pahang also has the red color gravy which is letak chili yeah. directly in here but that's yeah. like some usually white color but you letak the pounded chili just now on top so when you when you um mix it in everything it will still become red pinkish depending yeah. how much you put chili in there mm -hmm. Um, Kazara just said laksa kedah is the best. I think Papa Joe is going to agree with her on that. But I think oh, gosh, me and Mama, God. Mama <laughs> is going to have a laksa war after this now. Not the black and war anymore. <laughs> right. Okay, I like, I see, love, uh, to be honest with you, my girls love laksa pinang. That is their favorite laksa. Really? I, I, yeah, I'm that not is... a big, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan because I remember my late mom uh, doing uh, raya. I mean, she always... Uh, mm -hmm. The, I always compete with my sister because my sister she's a she's a big fan of a laksa pinang. I don't like it. I okay. prefer that me 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 rebels the one that um I did a cook yesterday. So it's always like every ah. year we're gonna decide what gonna cook apart from rendang, obviously. I see okay, our so, family loves um, laksa pinang. Laksa pinang is actually favorite. Even Sophia, she starts eating laksa pinang when she was really young, really really yeah. young, and people was like, "What? She eat laksa pinang?" Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Right, so this is done. Our sorry, I'm other on it. <laughs> you okay? Just just one second. I'm live on a I'm, I'm on the video. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Someone, one of the customers, just came in to ask me question about the food I cook. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> right. So. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So you're ready to assemble now. No, yeah, I'm ready to assemble. Almost there. Okay. Almost there. This Good. is slightly breaking. So I've already put a up. note outside there to say that filming in progress, but still they just walked in into my kitchen. I didn't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be in Dutch. So this, this is, yeah. Right, this is the second laksa we did just now. Great. Okay. Right. I'm going to cut them nicely and put it into mm -hmm. the serving bowl. And put the not very pretty one under. And then, right, and uh, then I'm... Salia, you better watch out because everyone's going to be driving down to Bristol now after this. So uh, that's oh, what, they are that's welcome. The I made, they're welcome. <laughs> I made notes here. So the sauce okay. is going in now. Okay. Yeah. Right. 
sauce goes in like that. It will cover the laksa. Yeah. You want it to cover the laksa, but I've got laksa here to go on top of it. Sorry. Just one second. Printer. Printer. Printer's here for the label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on a sec, sorry. I'm back. Right, so I'm going to put in the condiments. Yeah. Oh, yang halus, tak mau yang kasar. Yeah, so there. And the cucumber goes on top a little bit. The kacang panjang goes there. Tauge goes on top. And this is the beautiful bunga kantan. It's so pretty. And a few of those laksa leaves, those on the side. So with the with the touch ginger, you just thinly slice it, yeah? Pardon? The touch ginger, yes. I slice touch, everything. Yeah. I slice everything just now. Okay. And you can put this if you like. So there, guys, is my laksa. Right. Very close to the camera. Get everyone to admire your laksa. Wow, that looks absolutely oh, gorgeous. Oh, what's it, what did you forget? What did you forget? Oh, there's some of my channel. Yes. Okay. It's going to go a knob on top. Yeah. Like that. All right. Now it's complete. There you go. Okay. Good. Wow. Yeah. That looks really good. Really good. Yes. So yes. you did so mention... Yeah, you did mention um, to us earlier that uh, it's slightly uh, mm -hmm. the sum from your part of Malaysia, from mm -hmm. East Malaysia, East Peninsula of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. It's slightly different from the Terengganu and also the Kelantan one, the Kelantanese. Yeah, Lang yeah, sum. the Kelantan, the, I think the Terengganu and Kelantan, they put serai in their sauce. Yeah. And yeah. They, some of them also, I think I've, I've had it in Terengganu, some of them put um, uh, the bunga kantan in the sauce as well. Right. So okay. it's it, it, yeah, it's slightly different, but this is the way yeah. we we Malay orang paham does it. So all you yeah. do is you just push the chili into the sauce there. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And, and then you're gonna get your assistants to try it as well, yeah. yeah no, it's me, just me. <laughs> right. <laughs> there it done. is. Yep. I'm going to try. Bismillah. Okay, try it. Bismillah. My God, so sad. <laughs> mengak, right. mengak you definitely diri. gonna have lots of people like going to your house after this and knocking your door. They right. are welcome. You guys are welcome to come and eat laksa yeah. here with me. But yeah, this this is how we uh paham people make laksa. Well, this is how Amazing. my mom and my neighbor uh, make laksa since I was young. Yeah. And I went to see her when I wanted to write this cookbook. And right. you know the best book. Yeah, when the best bit of these older people, when you ask them when you want to write a cookbook, she was like, ah, agak, agak, agak je, <laughs> makcik tak tahu. Like, oh, That's wow. very Malaysian thing, isn't it? Yeah. That is definitely our thing, especially the older generations. When you want to learn cooking from them, you just have to, uh, that day I video what she does so I can see what she put in and I brought in my measuring yeah. cup as well, which she was not pleased. Yeah, but that's that's how that's how well, the uh, generations go, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it's amazing. Like how I mean, she's willing to share the recipes with you and all that. I mean, like it's true oh, because yes. like now the Westerners, like well, now that people from around the world is gonna be cooking your dish, right? Try out your recipe. Oh, I hope so. Definitely. I yeah, hope so. I, I like, hope so. Because this is very traditional. You don't yeah, get it in KL definitely. or anywhere else. You get it on Pantai yeah. Timur only. Yeah. So um, definitely, I think uh, lots of people are gonna try out your. Um, laksam dish and then especially when they have to do the laksam uh, the roll um, laksam itself isn't it the uh, the batter and all yeah, that but, I think that's a fun thing to do but it's so much fun so much fun making the laksa yeah the only really thing is so much fun making if, the yeah the only thing is if they can't get the uh, the torch ginger I was thinking like um, mm -hmm. what else they can um, use instead um, as an alternative ingredient so, uh, okay, to be honest with you, it's just a little bit to put on top as a yeah. condiment so it will not affect yeah. uh, the laksa itself. But if you are talking about asam laksa or laksa utara, then you can't because you need salt ginger. Yeah. But for well, this dish, it, you don't have yeah. it, don't worry about it. I mean, mm. do look up because like I've seen like a uh, touch ginger in a jar before. It's not going to be like uh, as uh, fragrant as the fresh uh, touch ginger, 
but still, I mean, like, mm. uh, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. definitely. Um, it's up. Yeah. Zara, I uh, say, yeah. I could keep calling you Zara. I don't know why. I know. <laughs> you hurt my feet. Yeah, Zara must be coughing. And there's lots of comments from Zara. You have to uh, read all these beautiful comments from the people that have been watching us anyway. Yeah, especially I you will. cooking this wonderful laksa. I will. Okay, so. <laughs> It's like when I call uh, Jackie and I call it, I don't know, like a Pali or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's have a look at all the questions here. Um, uh, lots of people loving your food here, uh, Zaleha. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's nice to hear. And then, of course, uh, Pauline, uh, yeah, we, we were very lucky because we've been watched by so many people uh, from around the world. I mean, like uh, for my demo yesterday, uh, someone watched from uh, Chile, from Samoa, right? I mean, uh, with yours, it's like a people from US, so lots of people here. So uh, you have to read all the comments here. So I'm just going to go through any questions that we left out anyway. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so someone said, I'm so desperately one luck sum at this moment. Chef Zaleha, please send it over to Manchester. Okay, there you go. Come, come, well, come. <laughs> she's going to have a big party after this, like inviting everyone oh, to I hope enjoy so. the luck sum. Yeah. I yeah. hope so. After this lockdown, I'm game for a party, to be honest. <laughs> Right, so um, looks like everyone's enjoying um, the way you taught them how to cook this laksa. Great. Oh, nice. So, Thank um, you. Okay, so, um, right, so we're going to wrap up shortly. But yeah. um, mm -hmm. Zaleha, is there anything that you want to tell the viewers? Yeah, so yeah. the people are watching today. Right, I will. Um, thank you so much, everybody that watched. Um, and thank you so much to all of you, my, my Masters of Malaysian Cuisine team. Who's constantly being the support, um, supporting, constantly supporting me, blah, 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 okay, constantly supporting me. And thank you, Jackie, for having me on board of this uh, team. Uh, thank you, Paul. Uh, thank you, Chef Norman, for sitting with me. I told you last night that you must sit with me. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Tourism Malaysia, for uh, including yeah. us, for having us, for the partnership. I can't wait to go back to Malaysia. And I can't wait to see all of you who's watching, who's planning to visit Malaysia. Come and visit Malaysia. Come and see us. If we go home during uh, one of the summer or anywhere during winter or anything, if one of us is there, we will be happy to take you around to show you Malaysia. Our food is so big. Our melting pot in Malaysia is just like you're visiting four or five countries if you're visiting Malaysia. So we are looking forward for you to visiting Malaysia. I look forward to go home because I'm not going home this summer. Yeah. Um, uh, we hope to see you again next time. Yep. Okay, great. So uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Right. So um, yes, today is a uh, uh, well, mm. demo is the final one in the batch. So uh, we have already planned for the next uh, batch of demos. And uh, it's going to be quite exciting because um, for the next demo, we're going to get yeah. our chef to team up with all the food writers and food bloggers from around the world. Okay. So they're going to be creating the noise, I mean, get the love about Malaysian cuisine. So that's something that you need to watch out for, but you need to sign up to our mailing list. So for, for you to get notification from us, mm. all the emails and everything, especially all the recipes, because I'm putting all the recipes now together. Yeah. Right, so, and, and of course, you need to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel as well. Okay, so, I mean, I think we, yeah. Zaleha, we nearly get to about a thousand people like to sign up to our mailing list, which is great, right? So that's Fabulous. what I've been right? Amazing. Yeah. That's what I would target as well. Amazing. Fantastic. Exactly. So guys, don't forget to sign up, subscribe, yeah. click follow us on Instagram as well. Now we have a page on Instagram. So yeah. find us there. We we are cooking constantly now onward. And yeah. Let's okay, so um, yes, uh, before we go, so again, I want to thank uh, Tourism Malaysia for all the support and for partnering with us uh, for all this uh, journey. And uh, yeah, thank you to Kazara. I'm going to mention her name again, right? <laughs> right? Thank you, Kazara. Said, like, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much, Kazara. So if you go to London, go and find Kazara, okay? So uh, she's a nice lady. And then, oh my God, like uh, I miss her too anyway. So we have to get the reunion done, okay? When I when I go back to London, okay? Definitely. Uh, yeah. Definitely. So uh, yeah. yeah, so this is it. So uh, thank goodbye you. from us. Yeah, thanks for watching. And goodbye. okay, don't forget. Yeah, so uh, one more thing. Uh, if you happen to watch this on Facebook or on YouTube, please help us to uh, create the noise, um, create this uh, beautiful movement, okay, by sharing it with, uh, with your friends and family on the Facebook yeah. or Instagram, okay? So Definitely. bye for now. Yeah? Share it. Thank you. And see you bye next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. bye.